All right, guys, I'm uh, Greg from Kyvac Tech Support. We're going to show you guys how to replace a VAC motor um, on a 1750. So, first thing you're going to need to do is remove your hose, your cord. If you got a chemical line connected, you'll need to disconnect that. Um, this little short vacuum hose here. Um, there are two thumb screws above your uh, switches. You have a yellow wing nut here, and then there's another one on the other side. So we'll remove those, and then we'll drop this black box so we can get access to the uh, back motor. Now, if you didn't have a lift and you were going to uh, work on this on a table, you would want to disconnect your return line here, there's a clamp, and your water feed line here, uh, remove that clamp. You also have a wing nut on each one of these metal uh, axle straps. There's one here, and then there's one here. Now once you've disconnected that, you can actually slide this out pick the whole thing up and put it on a, uh, a workbench to work on it. But we have a lift, so we're just going to lift it up. All right, so once you got your black box dropped, um, first thing you need to do is there's a clamp here. You're going to need to remove that. That's a, a 5 16 so you can even use a flathead to loosen that up. Um, there's also a nylon tie strap on this wire bundle, so we're going to cut that to get to our wires. Um, at the end of this hose here, at the end of this back motor, um, we will, this, this hose cuff is not glued on, you just unscrew it uh, and then that will slide right through there. Um, over on this side here, uh, there's two bolts uh, that uh, are half inch. Uh, so we'll need to remove those. Now once we get that out the whole thing should pull right out. So let's uh, let's get started. Alright, let's get this clamp off. Just loosen this up a little bit. This hose should slide right off. Um, get this uh, water nylon strap cut here. Now we're going to find our, our three wires. So we got the black wire that goes up to the switch. Make a note, it's on the very top of your vacuum switch. So we'll wiggle that off of there. It's on a piggyback. I'm going to take that off. And that goes to your hour meter. So your hour meter runs. So we're going to Take our green wire and disconnect it. You just kind of squeeze it and pull. It should come right off. And take our white off. The same principle. Just squeeze it. I like to take my wire so they don't get mixed up in this. And just take a little tie strap. And tie those together. Alright, so now we're going to just unscrew this cuff. that aside. Now on this side these bolts here remove those All 
Now we should be able to lift this motor right out of there. Three. this hose through this grommet here it's kind of tight so if you pull it on the one side and actually pull on the other you can give it a little twist and make it smaller If you're replacing the entire assembly, it'll come to you just like this. Hose is already on it. Remember the cuff unscrews, it's not glued. And then you would put it back in, you know, just feed that through. Um, seemed to be the hardest part. But if you just are getting the vac motor only, you'll need to remove this uh, self tapper here and um, you've got a small self tapper here and another one on this side so you'll need to remove your hoses over to your new motor um, remove these bolts here and you got another one on this side um, move your bracket from this motor to your new motor um, so once you've done all that or like I said, if you're replacing the assembly, um, just a matter of going in reverse. Uh, so let us show you how to do that real quick. All right, to uh, put your new vac assembly in, um, like I said, once you've switched all your hoses and your bracket over, if you're doing just a motor, you, you've basically got the assembly. So uh, just gonna go in reverse order. We're gonna, first, we're gonna feed this um, vac motor hose through this grommet. Goes in a whole lot easier than it comes out. Get our back motor down here in place. Up for your wires, you don't want to disconnect anything while you're in there. Okay, close. Excuse me, Carl. So, once we've got it in there pretty close, we're going to go ahead and connect our. Um, exhaust hose to the HEPA filter, put your clamp on, put your clamp on, slide it down a little bit, got some room to work there. get these close. Sometimes you may need to take a flathead screwdriver. Line those holes up pretty good. Take, get these bolts started. Go ahead and 
tighten them up. And then, uh, it doesn't really matter what order, we'll go ahead and get our, our cuff on here. And just threads right on. And we'll reconnect our wires. So remember our black wire from our back motor is going to come up to the switch. We'll reconnect our hour meter wire to the top part of the piggyback. And we are going to take our green and white wires and find our main harness here. So the white goes to white. And the green will go to one of these greens. Doesn't really matter which one. And we are going to take that and put us a new tie strap on there. It doesn't have to be real tight, it's just to kind of keep everything organized a little bit. So, we are done. Uh, stand the black box up, back up, put our thumb screws in, put our two wing nuts, connect our hose, um, wrap our cords and other hoses back up, and that one is ready to go. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and uh, plug it in uh, just to make sure that you're working, but it should be good. Thank you.